Greetings, folks, and welcome back to the Shell Touch channel. Today, we're going to be looking at something really super cool. At least I think so. All things convertible pants. And you may be familiar with convertible pants already, but nothing like I'm about to deliver. Deliver? Nothing like I'm about to explain. That sounds kind of weak and watered down. Nothing like I'm about to reveal to you. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So, as promised, we're going to be digging into all things convertible pants today. I absolutely love what, this chair. I cannot. I need to switch it up, folks. I mean, this chair is just ridiculous. You can't see the. Maybe you can. No, you can't. Right here are the arms of the chair, and I put my arms on it as one does, and it makes me. I feel like T Rex or something, and I don't mean Mark Bowen. It's like folds me in like this. Maybe it's just something I'm noticing. Do you notice this too? So I need to remember to stay wide. This is me staying wide. Anyways, uh, I'm going to try to make this quick. To, uh, my last video was probably like 30 minutes long, at least before cutting it up and editing it. However, it may still be 30 minutes long by the time I'm done with it. And this one I'd like to try to keep under. It's not going to happen, but I'm going to try to keep under 10 minutes. Anyways, convertible pants, folks. These bad boys. Um, we all know them. We all, well, some of us love them. Some of us don't some one time i was wearing these and someone asked me oh they they make those for adults too i didn't even know they made them for kids anyways they're super comfortable they're super great especially when uh trying to remain or keep your pack light and keep your equipment at the minimum because you get more bang for your buck with convertible pants now what do i mean by convertible pants chances are you already know or you could guess no not not something you're gonna be driving around in the corvette in but uh something that you can convert into shorts right here see how well that's hidden is the zipper where you can take apart these pants and turn them into shorts however that's not enough for me i want to get more out of these and let's see this this these are ems this brand right here which are fine these are thinner than what i care for great for the summertime like hot summertime hikes especially in arizona but for the camino where it can get a little bit cooler i like something a little bit thicker a little bit more water resistant when ll bean makes a great pair of convertibles just for that but yeah i just wanted to look at these first though so these again not my favorite but they get the job done and the zippers the zippers on these the one problem i have with them if you can see doo -doo -doo -doo, i don't know if you can see that right here you probably can't see that and that's the problem so it's gray it matches the pants perfectly same thing with this side the zipper is wherever it may be the same exact color which means when you take these off, if you take these off, it's going to be a pain in the butt. It's going to take a little while to figure out uh, which side is which. So that can slow you down in the morning if you're trying to put your pants together real quick before you get back on the trail. It can also be a pain in the butt if you are maybe sharing a load of laundry with other pilgrims and you all have similar clothing. This is happening before. So it can you can get them mixed up. They're like, I don't know whose bottoms these. If you, if, <laughs> that's a good tip right there. If you're going to share the laundry load with uh, other pilgrims, make sure your pants are zipped together. Everything's together. Don't do them in pieces. Don't do the legs apart from the, sh the shorts. Uh, otherwise, it can cause for some serious confusion. Trust me. And we'll get to how to solve some of that too coming up on this episode. But so those are convertibles. They're okay. They first, Camino, I wore them and just had all these ideas on how, how could I make a better pair of convertible pants. Now, I didn't make my own pair of convertible pants. I did modify them, though. And if you're handy with a needle and thread, or maybe know a seamstress or a tailor, or and these can be found if you're, if you're not familiar with a tailor or a seamstress. It sounds so posh, but that's they're, they're, they're everywhere nowadays, and mostly at laundromats. If you take your clothes to the laundromat, if you have a laundromat in your town, see if they do, like... Um, I almost said altercations, but alterations to make can sometimes work with you on different ideas. I've confounded many in my time, but this is a pair right here. And this is the one I absolutely love by L.L. Bean. And again, they're a little bit thicker than most pairs, but they last forever. They're awesome. And let me see if I have the name of these. I think they're called Crest, Crest, Cresta or do 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 do. Can't find it now, but I'll put it right 
appear when I do in edit. These, my friends, are like it's a thicker material. It's not rip stop. It's really, really water resistant. So that's great right there. Uh, they breathe super well. Absolutely love these. And they have, you know, a, places, uh, belt loops. They have places for belts. They have belt loops, which I think is very important on the Camino to have a belt. Uh, you'll be tempted often to wear like workout shorts, um, shorts with draw, drawstrings. Those are great for at night when you're, well, they're great for sleeping in. But for the trail, it's, I think it's always good to have a belt, and we'll get to that in future episodes. But So that's something I look for, especially in shorts, too. If I am going to be wearing shorts, I want to make sure they have belt loops. So yeah, I would rock these, and what I would do is, I have another pair here, a different color. I'd bring both with me. However, what you want to do is just bring one pair of bottoms, and you can share that between both pairs. Now, granted, these are two different colors, so they're going to look a little funky. Like if I'm wearing the gray bottoms, uh bottoms of the legs on the shorts whatever i mean it's coming out chic as we say um and honestly there's a lot of like new uh hiking pants out there that already do the dual color thing um i think decathlon has a few of those on offer dude might do it as well so it's not they're not you're not going to stand out and you're not going to look too freakish though you might look a little freakish but not too freakish and then you'll, you'll get a nickname like pants guy or leg pants guy because that's how it works on the camino or any trail, but bring one pair of legs and two pairs of convertible shorts. And that'll uh, be less to carry, or you can bring them both. I, my first Camino, I brought two pairs and I didn't think about that until after the fact. So it was a little bit extra weight, not much, but you know, just enough to notice. So this way you can conserve some space and some weight by just sharing the bottom legs. Am I getting redundant at this point? So moving on, now we covered this in another video. I also line the inside, let's kind of, it's peeling off. This is the thing with ABS uh, sock stop is at some point, these are uh, over a year old now, it, it can come start peeling off the more you wash it, especially, you know, in the washing in a washing machine by hand, it's different. But you can see I still have it in there. And this is great. This will keep your pants up as you're losing weight and hiking. Next, what I did was, because the great thing about uh, these sh uh, pants is while they can turn into shorts, when it gets hot enough and you want to turn them into shorts, try to resist, especially if you're hiking through like loose gravel, raw, and sand because that stuff can get in your shoes real quick especially if you're not wearing gaiters not a huge deal but you don't i don't know about you but when i get start hiking i get into a zone i don't want to stop i don't want to stop for anyone i don't want to stop for the backer so i walk and go at the same time depends really uh, yeah come on that was good so rather than carry the extra weight of gaiters i will leave these on as long as i possibly can and they function as gaiters but what i do is just vent the top so this is more of a tip on how to use these so, see this? This is a red zipper. Well, on this side, it's a blue zipper. So this is what LL Bean does. This is the difference there, just to go back to that for a second. And it's a quick and easy way to identify which side is which. Red is right, blue is left. Anyways, so what I do while hiking, I'll just open up the vent, or I call it a vent. I'll open up the zipper and allow it to function like a vent as I'm walking. And sometimes this is just enough. I don't need to take the pants apart. And this is great if you're hiking and you don't want to stop. It's a quick, quick move, you know, quick movement. Keep going. Don't have to stop. Take your pants apart. Because sometimes, you know, I've actually, there's one guy I got stuck with because I stopped that morning. It only took me like two minutes to take my pants apart, you know, just to pull the leg down, zipped off. And this guy bumped into me and he ended up hiking with me for the rest of the morning and drove me freaking nuts. You know, I try to love everybody. I try to, you know, find the best in everyone. And I think I did find the best in him, but it's still, he drove me nuts, if we're being honest. And that'll happen. Uh, so anyways, had I just unzipped this and let my legs breathe that way, I could have kept moving. I wouldn't. Anyways, that happened. So this is good, but it wasn't good enough for me. So by the time I got back from my first Camino, I had, again, some modifications done to these pants. I brought them to the tailor and I brought some waterproof zippers. And this is the back of the pants now. I put another zipper there to function as just a straight up vent and it's a waterproof zipper too. So now if I unzip the front and the back, air can flow right through there. Sometimes even wind blows through there. So again, it's like wearing shorts, but I'm still wearing pants, which are functioning. The, the bottom part are functioning as gaiters, keeping dust, sand and gravel outside of my shoes or out of my shoes, which can, again, can happen in certain areas of the Camino, not all, but just be, you know, conscious when you're walking over that stuff. Um, 
And so, yeah, not until the very last minute till I'm just schwitzen, as the Germans say, sweating uncontrollably, um, do I take the, uh, the bottoms off and use these as shorts. And when I do that, I, t I just roll up, I take these off, the bottoms roll up, and I stick them in each pocket on each side so I know where they are. Um, so that's what I do, and I don't, again, I don't really have to stop and fix, my, uh, fuddle with my bag. I keep my backpack on, even clipped, and do this. Take these off, pull them over my shoes, and, uh, just stick them in the pockets and go. So, really quick, really easy, and something to consider. So, these are the waterproof zippers right here. You can buy them on Amazon. I'll put a link below, or anywhere, really. But waterproof zippers, bring this, bring your pants, um, and just... This is how I did it. I did it diagonally across... But bring this, take a screenshot maybe of this. Bring the zipper to your seamstress or tailor and say, hey, this is what I want. And I had a diagonally on both sides and it functions great as a vent. So keep that in mind, that's a possibility. I'm trying to move as fast as I can here without taking up too much time. So what have we covered so far? One, share the legs for two pairs of shorts, if that makes sense, two pairs of convertibles. Two pairs of convertible shorts one pair of legs to swap out between the two, save space, save weight. Two, modify them. Um, sock stop, ABS, uh, silicone around the waistband to keep your pants up as you lose weight. Adding vents maybe to the back. Definitely using the front zipper as a vent while you're hiking to keep the, the bottoms on as long as possible so they can still function as gaiters. So there is that. Now, back to the color, the, the color of the zipper. So as I pointed out, these do have different colored zippers. However, if they didn't, like this other pair, color code it yourself. Now you can use enamel paint, nail polish, even touch up paint for your car. I actually, I have touch up paint for my bike. It's like this, uh, I don't know, sparkly red. So all you need to do is touch up one zipper and one side of the pants where the zipper connects, red, in my case, red. Uh, but whatever color you want, you can thrust in green even. In fact, if you want to, you know, step outside of the line, step outside of the lines, color outside, paint outside the lines in this case, uh, get completely unique colors, uh, fluorescent green, yellow, whatever. That way you're not going to have an instance where you might have the same pair of pants as someone else. This did happen to me and a friend of mine. His was a different brand, but they color coded their zippers the same way, red and blue. So for a few moments, we didn't know if we had the right bot, and we didn't. He had mine, and I had his. The material was the same, the zippers were the same. So yeah, keep that in mind. It's a, I think it's a good tip, uh, nonetheless. But color code them if they're not already. And even if they are, again, maybe different colors, just so that never happens. But again, again, I said again, again. You can get past or bypass all of this by just keeping your uh, bottoms zippered to the tops when you wash them together with other folks. Okay, next tip. I don't know what number this is. I, I tend to lose track of the tip numbers, but hopefully in edit, I will figure that out. Anyways, next tip is another way to get around turning these into shorts, if you need to, and keeping everything together, is just rolling them up. However, hiking all day for hours on end, you tend to kick out the roll, if you know what I mean. Kick out the leg roll. I mean, it's gonna, it's a thin nylon, so it's gonna, as you take a step, it'll eventually unwind itself. So what I've done is my own modification. I didn't have the tailor or seamstress do this. I did it myself. See this? This little plastic button. You can buy plastic snap kits on Amazon or wherever else online. Uh, it's a whole kit. It's like a gun. But you can put a snap on any type of material and it goes on the inside. See that black end? And on the outside. And then what I did was I made these with nylon strapping. I'm like the Martha Stewart of the Camino. These. Now, I made a bunch of different colored ones. I didn't bring them all with me. I was just experimenting with a different nylon strapping to see which one's the strongest. So yeah, and I put the opposite ends of the buttons on nylon strapping, cut the ends to the, so they're about probably seven inches, and then uh, cauterized them with a lighter so they didn't fray. So if I wanted to make like, I don't know, clam diggers, that's what we used to call them, I could. So at the end of the day, if I wanted to walk around with these p pants rolled up, they could breathe and... My feet could breathe a little. There you go. So they're not, and, they'll, and some pants have these built in. These didn't, however. And so that's what I did. I say make the most out of your clothing. You don't need to bring much, but what you do have, you want to get more uses out of than just single use. And I, you know, I'm, I'm repeating what many people have said before me, but I really think this is a, 
the way to really push and push your convertible pants to be truly um, effective while in the Camino and take up less space and little weight as possible. My next tip is not necessarily about modification, but just usage of these pants. So what I had had done is I assigned different pockets on the pants, different jobs, if you will. Um, this pocket was my filth pocket. Yeah, I said filth pocket. What I mean by that is I would keep filthy things in this pocket. Mostly like, let's see, actually, I feel like there's filth still in here. Yeah, here we go. So wrappers, if I'm eating uh, snacks throughout the course of the day, one, it's okay, so that produces the other pocket. Snack pocket, filth pocket, which just means trash. Any type of trash I would keep in there, uh, or maybe my rubber tips for my trekking poles would go in there. Somewhere I could have the quick access to the tips was great. It would either be in my sling bag or in this pocket. Why the filth pocket? Because tips can get filthy, especially when you're walking through farmland. You don't wanna be putting filthy tips in your regular pockets that your hands are going in because you're eating throughout the course of the day. And like, again, you're walking through cow patties and stuff like that. You don't wanna mix and mingle filth with food. Unless that's your thing. Maybe you do want to do that. And again, who am I to judge? This is a judge-free zone. That, that's what it was for me. What it is for you is up to you. And then, you know, one side would be receipts. I'd hold receipts. And the other side would hold whatever. Maybe my cell phone. Not, I would never put my cell phone in my back pocket. I don't understand people who do that. But you get the gist of it. Assign different pockets. And if you have two pairs of the same pants, you're never going to screw that up. It becomes muscle memory after a while. So that's what I would do. Do what works for you, however, at the end of the day. Hike your own Camino, as they say, or hike your own hike, because no one's going to hike it for you. I don't know. Oh, another thing to look out for, and really look out for this when you're buying convertible pants, because I've seen this. I've, I know uh, Decathlon has done this with some shorts, and I feel like some other companies have done this. Look out for this feature. It, it seems like it's awesome at the time, but around the snap for the front of the pants, they put Velcro. So you get like a dual snap and then the velcros together i don't actually i think it's a little redundant and it's velcro well velcro is awesome uh in itself it's not really that awesome with hiking what do i mean by that what i mean by that is um the velcro in technical clothing even wool clothing it sticks to it and will pull out the threads it'll it'll uh cause it to um it'll destroy technical clothing i guess is what i'm getting at cause it to fray and so having it right here your shirt's gonna touch that, your backpack's gonna touch that, like even ripstop clothing. When it comes in contact with Velcro, it starts destroying it. Be wary about using Velcro around technical gear and wool gear. And some of you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so to have it on uh, technical clothing or to have it on hiking clothing, I always find that weird. Keep that in mind when you're buying these. There's Velcro anywhere on these, even on the pockets. Because when you're washing the stuff together, if, it's, if it touches your, in the dryer or whatever, it touches your other technical clothing, it's gonna cause damage. Okay, next. So, cool weather hiking. Now, there are like folks that wear cold weather hiking pants, um, snowboarding hiking pants, skiing pants. I think that's great and whatnot. For me, I'm, I, I, I go hot. I go hot. I burn hot. I run hot. I'm hot blooded. Check and see. No, I don't know what it is, but I sweat a lot. And so I don't want to wear those because often those are aligned with wool or some other like a fleece or something to keep your legs warm. So that's good, but I have very little control over it. Once I start heating up, there's no cooling off. Some of them do have vents, but the vents don't vent to the skin. They typically vent down to that lining, which is wool or some other thing like our fleece. So it doesn't fully vent. And by that time it's getting sweaty in there and sticky and like it doesn't really work, it's too late. With these, with uh, regular convertibles paired with leg sleeves, yeah, leg sleeves, that's a thing. Leg sleeves. Leg sleeves in combination with um, convertible pants is awesome. So now you have all the control of the convertible pants, venting options, especially if you're modifying like me. And then with these bad boys, these will keep, these go all the way up your thighs pretty much. And as you get start getting hotter, you can start venting your convertible pants. And when that's not enough, you can just reach, roll up your pants and roll these down to where you need them to be. You can roll them all the way down to your ankles or you can peel them off. It's so much easier than buying snow pants or winter pants. And again, this is for cool, cold weather hiking, cool weather hiking uh, in the fall. But yeah, so keep these in mind. Leg sleeves are awesome. I will do a future episode about arm sleeves, which I think is also awesome. But this will save you uh, less gear to wear or no, less gear to bring with you if you, you know, use stuff like this. There's also leggings. 
These are by Stoic. And these are cool. This is like all the rave right now. At the bottom at the ankles, all of them are putting like designs because I don't know. Uh, but yeah, these two, but these are tough to vent. So while you're opening up the convertible zippers and whatnot to vent, these are these are on, you're wearing these. You would have to take these off. Where the leg sleeves, you can just roll them down and you can roll them right over your shoes too and boom, you're, you're done. You don't have to take your pants off. So something to consider. Another great tip, I think anyways, for uh, cool weather hiking. Or even, you know, springtime hiking. It gets cold there too and in the rain. When I was hiking over the Pyrenees my second year, it was pouring. So I was wet, I was cold. It was a miserable experience. I had to change my socks a couple times during that hike. Wearing this stuff comes off real quick if you need to take it off without taking your clothes off. So that's it, folks. I hope that was, I, I don't know what the time is on this. It, it probably was longer than what it needed to be. I apologize for that. That said, however, if you'd like this and if you got something out of it, please like this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out a new video every week with different Camino you know, tips, tricks, and hacks. And I think they're all pretty unique. These I've come up with on my own during my, my last couple Caminos. And I, I really think you'll get a lot of mileage out of them, pun intended. And if you can add to this, because once more, this is a, a space where we like to share information. I, I'm learning from you. Hopefully you're learning from me. We can learn from each other. And in order for that to happen, you need to comment below. So if you're watching this on Smart TV, hit pause. Go to your cell phone. I'll wait. I'll be here. Hit pause. But before you hit pause, let me explain how to do that. Hit pause. Like I need to explain this. You know what you're doing. You're an adult. Uh, like it, subscribe, and comment. Please comment though. Let me know what you're thinking. Please keep it positive as well. This is a positive, positive zone. Positivity zone. Constructive criticism is always welcome, however. But keep it positive. There's enough negativity in the world. And we try to keep the Camino vibe alive and well here. So thank you for tuning in. It's awesome having you here. It's awesome being part of such a great community. And um, see you on the trail. One Camino.